Okay, here we are again. Hope I'm not boring you by showing so much of this helicopter, but we're at the final stage. It now has ball bearing supported grips from an XK K124 helicopter. They did mount it on the plastic head of the C186. And Take it outside for a test over and see if it's stable now or if it's just as bad as it was before with the four rotor head. Um, if you've seen the other videos, you notice the helicopter was wandering around and it wouldn't really settle down. And I had the grips from the, well, the original grips from this helicopter on there, which are just supported by plastic hubs and sheet metal screws for the washer. Pretty high friction in comparison. So I bought these grips for the K124 and feathering spindles, which threaded into the head with a little work. We got the brushless motor set up. Now I'm going to give this a hovering test and see if it'll fly properly. And if it doesn't, then that's the end of the experiments with this four rotor head on this helicopter. And I will go back to the two rotor head. That had on there that flew quite nicely. And we'll see what happens. Right. Let's take it outside and see what it's going to do. Hello, everybody. Great out here. Back for one final test flight of the Frankenstein 2 helicopter. Now it's a combination of three helicopters because you got the MCPX BL parts inside, two different frames merged together, MCPX motors, C186 airframe and lower frame section, C186 head with a mix of MCPX parts, and now we have K124 blade grips and K124 blades. So we've got three helicopters here in one, and hopefully they'll all blend together into a nice little flavor not a nasty mess. Um, you've seen my previous flights with the poor rotor head on here and it was always unstable wandering. It would not settle down. And then I tried it with the two blade head on it and it flew nice so that told me there was a problem with the head. And after some other tests I pretty much concluded that this was a blade grip problem. So I got the K124 grips and adapted it to the one C186 head. Now the blades move very freely. Feels nice. And I did some run-ups on the dust to make sure everything was balanced. I had to put a little piece of tape under one blade. And now we're going to see if it's going to fly or it's going to fly sloppy. This is the moment of truth, folks. Throttle cut off. Throttle lock is off. Um, set on my old trusty DX6 guy. I know I'm, <laughs> I'm not postponing, but I'm just nervous right now. This is going to be it. This is going to be it, or this is going to be a failure. Here it goes. Go flying. That feels good, folks. Well, that feels really good. This thing sound coming from that four blade head goes to stuff, too. I'm slightly worried about this plastic head because it's now running at a much higher RPM than it was originally designed for. Made sure the feathering spindles went in really tight. Even pressed the threads in instead of cutting them with a tap so they'd be stronger. And I think it'll be okay. But time will tell for that. That's a good lift. Um, I'm not gonna overfly the next door property. I don't know how they feel about that. But the housing is it. Let's keep it over here. Wow. 
can really hear those blades. Okay. Getting a little windy here. I'm trying to keep it balanced here. Okay. Let me get down. Okay. That's all. All, right. Power. all right, it's working now. And it's working properly. I felt like I could fly it around if I wanted to, but <laughs> not here right now. Um, I think we're good. Follow walk ons. Pick up safely and you know what? Success. I'm gonna call it success. That felt so good. It has the four blade head on it. Log project. Took a lot of work. Logs are successful, they're working for Alright. Happy flying folks. I'm happy. Bye bye.